Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about eugenics. This is a concise presentation for medical students. The term U means good and genics means born. So eugenics literally means born good. Eugenics is a method of prevention of genetic disorders. The term was proposed by Galton. Galton used this term to refer to the science which aims to improve the genetic endowment of human population. Eugenics is a set of beliefs and practices that aims at improving the genetic quality of human population. This picture denotes eugenics. Eugenics is the self-direction of human evolution. Now, before we go into the details of eugenics, let us see about the methods of prevention of genetic disorders. This includes health promotion measures, specific protection, and early diagnosis and treatment. Health promotion measures include eugenics, euthenics, genetic counseling, prevention of consanguineous marriages, and prevention of late marriages. Specific protection includes prevention of exposure to mutagens like X-rays, ionizing radiations, and other chemical mutagens. Early diagnosis and treatment includes detection of genetic carriers, prenatal diagnosis, screening of newborn infants, recognizing preclinical cases, and rehabilitation of the patients suffering from genetic conditions. Now let us see about the differences between eugenics and euthenics. Eugenics stands for manipulation of genes, whereas euthenics is manipulating the environment for a specific genotype. Now let us see about the types of eugenics. There are two types of eugenics. They are positive eugenics and negative eugenics. Now let us see about positive eugenics. Positive eugenics seeks to improve the genetic composition of the population by encouraging the carriers of desirable genotypes to assume the burden of parenthood. Positive eugenics has very little application. It has two limitations. Many traits have a complex multifactorial determination which are determined by both genetic and environmental factors. And also we can't determine which gene we transmit to our children. So positive eugenics has very little application. In negative eugenics, people who are suffering from serious hereditary diseases are sterilized or debarred from producing children. The aim of negative eugenics is to reduce the frequency of hereditary disease and disability in the community to as low as possible. The limitations of negative eugenics are new hereditary disabilities can occur due to fresh mutations and heterozygotes which cannot be prevented by negative eugenics. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe and tell your friends about this channel. Thank you.